What's up there, good people? You know what time it is. Time for that daily screw. Long night, man. Long night. Had some newbies come in last minute. 3.30, 4 o'clock. And I'm sitting there all night, you know, with the other guys. Of course, I'm, I'm the oldest guy in the bunch, of course. I'm the old man. Uh, and what brought it up is we was talking about what was the real meaning or what was the first meaning of Friday the 13th besides the movie. You know, me, I'm one of them, you know, uh, ones that love all that useless information. So, of course, I'm Google is your friend. So I started Googling it, you know what I'm saying? It, it struck me as, man, fucking like a dozen pages was nothing about the movie, the movie, Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th. And I'm thinking to myself, man, don't y'all know anything past Friday the 13th? You know? And I wonder where, you know, where it come from. And when you go to Google and you start searching, man, it goes way back to the birth of Christ. You know what I'm saying? The, the, uh, the Last Supper. You know what I'm saying? And Christ was, was crucified on Friday the 13th. They had some weird stuff in there, man. Uh, but it goes to show you, uh, well, it goes to show me, um, I was enlightened tonight. I'm old. Then we started talking about things and back then and back there, and I was like, oh my fucking God. And I swear to God, I went from 20 to 50 in a blink of an eye. It, it happened just like that. I don't feel any uh, worse or less. You know, uh, um, I still feel like I'm 20 until I get up to go move or something like that. And you're like, oh, Lord. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Time, it goes on. It don't wait for nobody, man. Really don't. You know what I gotta ask these guys that I work with is, man, you remember, you know, you know, I was you know, 30 years ago. Oh wait, no, you wasn't born yet. Holy shit! Puts everything in perspective. You know what I'm saying? And seeing how the eagerness and you know the their. Um, fire for work and enthusiasm gets under my motherfucking skin. You know, it's like, slow down, man. Sit down, Spike. You know what I'm saying? You sit down. Um, but what's so funny is I used to be the same way. I used to be running around with my head chopped up. And I still do to an extent, you know what I'm saying? But um, through the years, I guess you learn patience. And um, Slacking up. Not necessarily slacking, but slowing up. Learning how to appreciate every minute. You still live, at least I do, I still live every minute, you know, to the fullest. You know, but um, I think maybe I enjoy it a little bit more. Or I've slowed down to enjoy it a little more. Which I've enjoyed all my past, so don't get me wrong. Um, but I didn't stop to appreciate it. Maybe that's why I got more patience now. Uh, these days I've had to have a lot of patience for everything. I had a lot to do with women, imagine that. My little girl. Oh, huh, that's a lot of patience. Her mother, huh, that's a whole other subject. You know, my retard I have now, oh my God. That's a lot of patience. Well, mom, you know, anything worth having you gotta work for you know if things were easy you know that were good nobody have good things you know everybody you know, it jakes a lot you know any of the guys who sent you know the astronauts to the moon you think they did that all by slacking? Oh, uh, yeah, throw that part in there. Yeah, no, that might get it. No. 
and work the ass off. Any relationship, parents and kids, men and women, and dogs and cats. Doesn't matter. Whatever kind of relationship takes work. If you build a bridge across these waters and you don't work your ass off so that bridge made it strong, well, I'm probably gonna fall apart and everybody's gonna go in the water. You gotta build that bridge strong as a motherfucker. Work your ass off, man. That way that bridge is there, it's connected. It ain't going nowhere. It'll ride for thousands of years. Just saying. Anything worth having, or anything that you have that's <laughs> you want to keep, you have to work for it. I know everybody out there has. So for the ones that are trying to get things, or trying to get somewhere, relationship, money, work, children, no matter, be patient. Work your ass off. The more and better you work, the more and better things that you're going to get. And not just that, but just the, your quality of life. Okay. That's what means it all. Your, your mind, your, your well-being. With me, I can be in a cardboard box and still be happy. That's just worth more than anything, your well-being. Because if you don't have, if you're not right, you know what I'm saying, you're not going to be able to be right to anybody else. Worry about your well-being. Then you can take care of everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So how's your well-being this morning? My well-being is going to be out the door heading to the hacienda. I'm going to holler at y'all good people. Manana. Love y'all people.